Area, we do have disturbance number two that's also changed. And so let's get into what happened there and, and what are we thinking right now? There's Cancun, Mexico, where at, at the resort, you're seeing the palm trees really swaying, still some dynamic conditions, but that's over the Yucatan, right? And so those are the spots where you have the thunderstorm still present, but what happens once those drift in the Bay of Campeche? Well, there's a lot of ingredients working against this. You'll see a medium chance. This went from 60% down to 50. So uh, still, there's gonna be a potential there. And, and the reason why I think they throttled back. Now, this was earlier in the day when we were scanning this, the latest advisory just came in. You're looking at a harsh wind environment, right? This is as strong as it can get. So it can't vertically stack, but it has high moisture. That's derived uh, from the Gulf and the Western Caribbean and it has warm water. And because of that, it still has an opportunity. Why it's at a 50% chance of development is because as it gets closer to the coast, it can really ramp up quickly. Now, why are we seeing back-to-back -back, um, areas of concern right here, right? We had Tropical Storm Alber uh, Alberto and then this area of disturbance because of the Central America gyre. The low pressure, once it's here, it pinwheels around, picks up moisture from the Eastern Pacific, ramps it up over the Yucatan. This is enough land mass to be enough warmth. It's a factory ground to let it spill down into the Gulf. But as it spins into the Gulf, it's already twisting and it goes right into those areas that we saw from before. So I think the biggest impact from this is going to be the fact that it overlaps right where Alberto was. We actually had video of what it looked like in Mexico from that tropical storm. By the way, it sadly killed four people in northern Mexico because of what you're seeing here. The raging waters of the rivers that actually came rushing down mountains and led to mudslides and debris, debris flows. They're only a couple days removed and they're going to get more rain, even though it doesn't have a Great chance of truly developing into a name storm. You're still going to have thunderstorms hitting northern or uh, yeah, northern Mexico. Texas looks like it'll be relatively quiet. You could still get several inches of rain regardless.